Welcome to Fire Engineering Training Minutes. I'm Katie Johnson and today we're going to be talking about a method to rapidly advance a large diameter hose line into a structure with a single firefighter. As you see we've already advanced and deployed our hose line to the door of the structure ensuring that we have our 50 uh, feet of our coupling for that initial fire attack is going to cover that fire floor. Firefighter Satterfield utilizing webbing she's going to deploy her webbing She's gauging about an arm's length back from the nozzle to ensure that she's able to manipulate and control that, that, uh, that nozzle. Now she's just performing a very simple girth hitch around her left arm facing away from the nozzle is going to shoot through that, that piece of webbing and she's going to continue to spin back into the nozzle. Now this webbing here on her back distributes this weight and the nozzle reaction and the, that force that's pushing back helps distribute it across her body so she's able to advance while flowing water into a structure. Her, her arm is within an arm's length away so she's able to shut that, that nozzle down and that, that bail quickly and notice how she has it turned towards her instead of upright where you have to reach over top. She's turned it so if anything um, goes wrong or she needs to shut down that hand line quickly she's able to just shoot her hit line, her hand up the line and close that bail down. She's going to start her flowing water and she's able to advance that line with the use of the webbing pulling the line in with her. Today we showed you a very quick and rapid method to deploy webbing to utilize as a single firefighter advancement into a structure with an LDH hand line. Now always remember that you're going to uh, gauge and, and check that, that size of that webbing based on the size and stature of your firefighter, something you want to do prior to that actual incident. I'm Katie Johnson. Thank you for watching Fire Engineering Training Minutes.